You never have to vote for a lesser of two evils when there's another candidate you like better. And Kyle you know, Bailey is the campaign manager for the Committee for Ranked Choice Voting. He says we need a better voting system than the one we have now. Right now, we have candidates winning who don't get a majority. And in fact, there's probably some cases where candidates win who are opposed by a majority of voters. In nine of the last 11 Maine gubernatorial elections, the winning candidate received less than half of the votes cast. Ranked choice voting creates an instant runoff. If no one gets a majority of votes, the candidate with the lowest vote totals is eliminated and the second choices on those ballots are tabulated. I don't know that the voters understand how complicated and confusing this is. They actually have State Representative Heather Siraki is fighting a one-woman crusade against ballot question five. The Scarborough Republican says ranked choice voting undoes the principle of one person, one vote. If people that voted for the third place finisher do not select a second place, they only want one candidate and they don't identify that they have a second or third choice. Those ballots are eliminated. In spite of what proponents say, Siraki says ranked choice voting actually increases strategic voting. Proponents also argue ranked choice voting forces candidates to campaign beyond their bases. You as a candidate now go to a door for someone who may have a lawn sign for your opponent. Knock on that door and have a conversation with that voter. Talk to them about the issues, understand where they're coming from and why they are supporting that candidate. I'm not sure that the voters are more informed with ranked choice voting. It seems like maybe the candidates would be less clear and forthcoming with their position on issues. Some municipalities, notably Portland, already have ranked choice voting. But if question five passes, Maine would be the first state to adopt the system. I'm Paul Merrill, WMTW News 8.